Greg Cazillo, fro knows photo dot com. This photo came to us in our nice new project where we edit your raw files from David Hodgkiss. He sent this in, said he shot it not that long ago, and it's my turn to edit. In fact, I'm going first this time. So, first thing I see is a really cool image and some good saturation. Uh, as seen by the histogram right about there. And so I need to fix that. We're still a little on the light side here and there. So I think it's a real easy fix. And let's bring up the blacks. It's really close. Looking really, really good. And we're just going to bring down our brightness. And that's going to saturate it. And to be totally, totally honest, this is all I want to do to this image. I think it's really, really good. But there's something that's bothering me. See how this building is leaning over a little bit? Whatever lens he was using has some, some barrel distortion in it. And that has to go. Uh, he's taught, In his email, he said something about wanting to, to, to hang it and frame it. So this needs to be fixed. All right, got to go. Bothering me. Out of here. Crop tool. Constrain to warp. First thing I'm going to do. All right, and then, as you may have guessed, we're heading down here to our lens corrections. So let's open up our edges a little bit because it's a little too heavy. Maybe I'll re-add them later, but for right now, I think we need they need to go. Those dark edges and that vignette. All right, now, first let's play with our distortion and we'll try and get everything straighter. Both the horizontal line, whoops, where's the way do I need to go here? Uh, both the horizontal line, which is pretty straight. Horizontal line, horizontal, what? What the heck am I talking about? The horizon line is pretty straight. So anyway, I'm going to fix that. Again, it has that parallax problem. And so first I want to straighten that. All right, that's first. Now, we still have... A little bit of distortion that building is still leaning in so I am gonna straighten that bad boy out now our constraint to warp is going to automatically recrop that picture as you just saw it jump and so now we're a lot straighter alright that building is straighter everything is looking good now if we wanted to we'll add a little post crop vignette and again, that's a post-crop vignette. Whoa, that's way too much. Just a touch. Maybe five. Minus five. There you go. Good. That's looking pretty good. Maybe we need a little bit of exposure coming down. Saturate our colors a little bit. Very nice. That's it. Now, it's Jared's turn. See ya. Yeah, Jared Poland, fro knows photo.com. I didn't really need to think about it. I thought the dramatic pause would be something new. So I just, um, yeah, woke up, got back from Vegas. For all of you who are watching this, whenever you're watching this, uh, as of, what is it, October 4th, I flew home from Vegas. So that's why I'm getting these videos, yeah, videos up late. So Greg already had his chance to edit this photo, and I want to edit it. It's a David Hotchkiss photo in New York City, and he probably was on the ferry. Ferry? 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 Ferry. Not the ferry. The f He wasn't riding a ferry. He was on the ferry. Uh going to probably the Liberty Bell. Uh, you can see he shot it with the D90. One 12 50th of a second, F 3.5, 400 ISO, 18 millimeters with the Nikon, 18 to 105. Um, you can notice a few things when we edit this that I think think's going to pop out because of the lens. You can already see some vignetting up here, and you can also see that the gradation is off over here. So there's more over here than there is over here, and that could be a lens thing. Also, you, ha you can see... There could be lens correction needed. Uh, Greg will probably go ahead and correct the, the lens correction. I think he'll go with the color image, but I think I want to go back old school and go black and white and do stuff that I don't normally do in videos uh, with my own photos. 
So you know how I'm big on contrast. I just pumped the contrast up. See, that's where the color is. Let's see what would happen if we pull back. It, it's it's difficult. This is difficult. And I don't know if it's the lens or the exposure that's that's doing this or how he exposed this, if it was on auto or he manually did it. But, you know, it's darker over here than it is over here. You can see right here the gradation is is the vignetting is, is immense. Um, I mean, that would be okay as a color photo, but it's a photo that most people have. So what can we do different? Let's, let's desaturate. Let's go black and white. Let's see what we can do here to make it feel like, hey, we're on the, the, the New York ferry. Ferry. Is it ferry? Ferry. Right? Ferry? Why do I have a problem with the word ferry? But anyway, you're on the New York ferry going to the Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell. Yeah. You're not in Philadelphia. You're going to the Statue of Liberty because the Liberty Bell isn't in New York. All right. Here we go. Let's pump up some blacks. Boom. Let's... I like my exposure here. The, now I'm getting an old world feeling. I mean, yes, the, the, the World Trade Center used to be right here. Um, I mean, you have your older buildings right here which is why I want to go black and white. We'll kind of give it a feel that we're back in the day. So let's change the temperature. You see how when you change... Whoa. What is that? That's weird. I see... I don't... Is that a... Wow. I see... This is what's happening because of the lens. This is, this is the lens doing something, the way it handles the image. I've never seen that in one of my images um, with what I shoot with, with the... The, the glass it could you know it could be a, a just a defect in the lens when it's how the light goes through the lens and is diffracted and refracted now there's nothing wrong with using the lens any image works with whatever you've got don't forget that but i'm just pointing that out here that's interesting i almost almost want to see what happens if i do something like this that's almost like a a um a solarized image a solarized image was something where in the dark room you would you would put the the photo into the into the developer and into the tray, and as it was developing, you would hit it with another thing of light. Uh, and when you hit it with light, it would solarize, and then you put it into the stop bath, so it stops doing that and it doesn't overdo it. So this is pretty interesting. So I I'm liking this feeling. Now I want to see what would happen if I can control the vignetting at all and see if. Let's see. Will it get rid of it? No. That didn't get rid of it. Oh, it's because I'm on the amount. So let's see if I can go the other way. Nope. Doesn't get rid of it. So I don't think I can use this as a full as a full on. I can pull back slightly. So I'm pulling back slightly. I'm gonna have to try to do this a different way. Cause that really isolated the city. Okay, now I can do it with my blacks. Let's see what Phil Light's going to throw in here. Now, Phil Light just makes it back to this. I'm I'm going to use my exposure slightly. And I saw something down here when I was just looking. It said grain. Now, obviously, that's something that I don't normally do in my own images. But if I could find it here, because I want to go old school, I'll throw grain in here and make it look like some T-Max film. See, you see what the grains look like? That's an interesting thing. They... There, there's some smart buggers over there at the uh, at the Adobe World headquarters. So I added grain. I'm going to play with my exposure a little more. And now we have an old world image. Uh, you know, tweaking it. Doing, working. It's, it's a nice shot of the city. It's really nice from here on the ferry. Um, so this is where I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to get too technical with up here. But this gives it a feel like, hey, it's 1934. Don't look at Trump Towers, you know. He didn't exist in 1934. But I really think I played with this image. It's what had to be done in my mind to make it different than what other people normally do with this same exact photo in New York. So this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see what Greg did when I go and edit this photo and see if he actually maybe did some something similar. So, David, thank you for sending your image in. Everybody, don't forget, you can send your one raw file, not JPEGs, not, uh, you can send the, D no, don't send DNGs, just send one raw file, whether it's an NEF or it's from Canon or anything like that. Raw files, no JPEGs. Fro knows photo at gmail.com is where you send it. Jared Poland, Fro knows photo.com. See ya.